Good morning, and good morning, God. This morning, as we fellowship with the Father, consider that there are a lot of different names of God in the Old Testament, in the Hebrew Bible, the Tanakh. Each of these 25 names of God reveals something different about either the power or the beauty or the righteousness of our Father. Winston Churchill had a summer home, Chartwell, in the Kent countryside. It was a place that he went to 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 retreat, to be alone, or to fellowship with friends, a place of relaxation, a place to think. And, and in Chartwell today, you can find a number of pieces of our paintings that Churchill himself painted. He was an amateur artist. You can find photos at Chartwell of different phases of Churchill's life. You get a photo of him with FDR allies, grim-faced leaders leading their countries in a time of war. In the background, there are aides, there are military officials busy at work. There's a painting that Churchill himself painted called Tea Time at Chartwell. He's pictured in the painting together with friends, smiles on their faces, not a care in the world in this image of bliss and fellowship. There's a photograph in the hallway of Churchill flashing the famous V for victory sign. He's riding military uniform. He's riding in a military vehicle. There are tanks and planes around him, weapons of war. Each image of Churchill gives us a different layer of his personality, reveals a little bit more to us about him. There's a, a picture of Winston Churchill painting in Switzerland, wearing a smock in a beautiful uh, mountain lake scene. Again, another image of this leader at war. And the different names of God reveal different layers to us about who God is, who God is to us, and who God is in character in terms of his power, his creativity, and his righteousness. There is no image that reveals more to God than the image given to us in Jesus. Jesus is Emmanuel. Is God come close? The book of Hebrews opens and tells us that over the years, God has revealed himself to us through many different people in many different ways. But now we have the exact representation of who God is in Jesus his son. So the first three or four verses of the book of Hebrews. So this morning, as we fellowship with our Father, let's come to know him through Jesus and approach him through Jesus. Pray with me. Good morning, God. We love you. And it is just good to spend time with you, our Thank you for revealing something of yourself, of your personality, of who you are through the different names that you give us in the Bible. Clearly, you want to be known by us, Father, and you've given us different ways to, to look at you, portraits, portraits of who you are. And this morning, none is as clear to us a representation of who you are than that of Jesus, your son. Thank you, Jesus for showing us perfectly who God is. This morning, my prayer for each of us is that we go throughout our day, that we will remember the face of our Father, that we will remember who you are, and that we can see you in the many aspects of our day as we go about our business. But most of all, that we won't lose touch with you but that we will sense your presence, God, in every moment of our day. It's good to be with you. And as David reminded us in the Psalms, there's nowhere that we can go where we escape from you, that we outrun your spirit. You are with us in every moment of our day. 
Thank you for this. We pray this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen.